we are Hannah and Jeremy with the Savory Suitcase. Last week, we boarded the Celebrity Ascent in Fort Lauderdale's Port Everglades and set sail on the Eastern Caribbean itinerary. The Ascent is the latest addition to Celebrity's Edge class, and this ship launched in late 2023 and we sailed in February of 2024 during its inaugural season. After a full sea day exploring the ship, the next day we arrived in the late afternoon to the port in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We booked our planned excursion through the cruise line and chose the small group food and culture tour. On our way into port, the weather was threatening to prevent us from docking, but the pilots were able to successfully board and we made it the rest of the way into port. This port stop was later in the day, allowing us to spend the morning relaxing on the ship and enjoying the scenery as we came into port. After picking up that cruise essential soft serve ice cream cone, we made our way to the theater, which was the designated meeting point for our excursion. After exchanging our tickets for stickers, we waited for our number to be called and we were led down to the gangway to meet our tour guide. Old San Juan, situated on Puerto Rico's northern coast, is a captivating historic district celebrated for its colorful architecture and historic buildings, rich cultural landmarks, and a diverse culinary scene. Additionally, San Juan is known for the abundant street art and murals that adorn the walls, adding an extra layer of vibrancy to the area's charm. My parents, who joined us on this cruise, chose a private excursion that led them on a tour of the murals. Once we had met up with our guide at the port, he walked us along the waterfront towards our first stop of the tour. We circled up for a brief introduction, a history of cuisine in San Juan, and a game plan for the afternoon. Our first stop was at Casita de Rones, a bright pink restaurant that sits right along the waterfront. This is also the flagship store of the brand Rums of Puerto Rico. They offer comida criolla, Puerto Rico's traditional cuisine, which is the result of centuries of blending of Taino, Spanish, and African traditions and ingredients. Here's how we cook our pork. So we take the whole thing, we put it on a stick, we put some 
fire on there, of course, you see it very well, and you smoke it for a big while. Leave it there until all the skin gets crunchy, and that pork gets perfectly cooked and very, very smooth. And once you have that, you're gonna take this part, the leg, the same way the knee, the sort of comes out of the pierna, which is the leg. The pork slider was very delicious and served with a pickled white onion and a side of plantain chips. Of the first thing they have to do is a lot of those buildings. One of the first ones they made was this one right here. We made our way away from the waterfront and further inland to the heart of Old San Juan, stopping at the best example of Art Deco in Puerto Rico, the Banco Popular, built in 1938. This building was at one time the tallest in the Caribbean. This is not really a skyscraper, it's about 13 stories tall, and for the time it was deemed that because in San Juan there were people. Our next stop was the San Juan National Historic Site where we stopped to talk about the history of Puerto Rico, including the Spanish colonization in the 1500s, when Puerto Rico became a U.S. territory in the late 1800s, and the current status that it maintains today. We also stopped by the narrowest house on the island, La Casa Estrecha. Called bullseyes. Those are to sort of help the air circulate when it is hot. It is kind of fresh right now. It was made in the 1960s. Kids to come over here, play with the pigeons, feed them, have a great time, boost their immune system as a kid. I did it a ton. I am very healthy now. It worked out for me. As you can see, they Chapel has a very interesting story, and it dates back into the 1750s. Let's take ourselves back into that time. There were no cobblestones in that time, and these were quite very rare. Our next food stop was El Patio de Sam. This is a traditional cafe offering local favorites. We started with a piña colada, which many claims have its origin in Puerto Rico. We experienced making mofongo here. 
Mofongo is a traditional Puerto Rican dish made primarily from fried green plantains mashed together with garlic, olive oil, and chicharrones. It was served with a side of red beans, white rice, and a chicken dish. We explored more of the colorful streets of San Juan before making it to our final spot, Chocolato, where we enjoyed an affogato, which is a shot of espresso poured over gelato. I forgot to take a photo before we started to eat them. Sorry. Thanks for joining us on this food and culture tour of San Juan. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and check out some of our other adventures. Next week, we arrive in the port of Tortola located in the British Virgin Islands, where we rented a car, we drove on the wrong side of the road, we toured the mountainous island, and we relaxed on the island's beaches. To see a full tour of the ship, click this video here. If you want to see more cruising content, click this video down here.